Hey guys, this is Inferno Bird here. Um, this is a video of how to clone your hard drive on your laptop, uh, or sorry, your MacBook Pro using SuperDuper. And the things you're going to need are, of course, your hard drive that we extracted out of the MacBook Pro, um, a new, a brand new hard drive which I showed how to install, and then another installation video. Um, so if uh, if you need to catch that video or whatever or didn't catch it, um, I'll include a link in the description below where you can see that first. But anyway, you want to install your brand new hard drive onto your MacBook Pro without doing anything to it yet, and you want to have your your previous hard drive out. Sorry, I just got a text. But you want to have the the hard drive that was in it out of the MacBook Pro now and in the open so you, we can use it and you're also going to need an adapter which I have a USB adapter cable for a uh, internal hard drive um, and I'll, I'll show you where you can get that on Amazon in the description below um, but this is this is an adapter for pretty much any kind of hard drive uh, SATA, IDE and everything all the to USB so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and hook up your hard drive to your adapter it's pretty self explanatory just put where they where they fit and then plug in the adapter alright so you want to plug your USB in there open the Mac up Hit the power, and as soon as you hear that, you know, hold the option key and just hold it down. And so you get an option on the screen that has the hard drive, and that would be the hard drive on the outside, not the inside. So you want to launch from there. Just click that and we'll zoom in because we're not going to do anything on the outside anymore. And once again we are booting via USB not the internal drive yet because we got to format the disk and all that. So you'll get this little uh, I guess warning sign on here that says the disk you inserted was not readable by this computer. So that being the case, you want to initialize it and the disk utility will pop up. Alright, and here we have the one we just installed. It doesn't have anything on it and the one we're booting from, which is now mounted as an external hard drive. So what you want to do is highlight that, go to the erase option and make sure the option is Mac OS extended journaled in parentheses. Um, I'm gonna name this the one terabyte Macintosh hard drive. Alright, so you want to click erase and it says are you sure you want to erase the disk WDC WD10 and you just click erase. So that should not take too long um, because there's nothing on it. So there we go. Next thing you want to do, close out a disk utility and open up SuperDuper, which I'll provide a link to in the description. Um, but open up SuperDuper. Click cancel. And you want to go from your Macintosh hard drive and copy to your one terabyte or Sorry, the, I'm using a one terabyte, but you, it can be any volume. Um, so you want to go from the external hard drive to the internal one you've installed. And you want to back up all files. Click Copy Now. Uh, type in your password. If you have one. It says, you are about to erase one terabyte Macintosh HD. We know that. We want to copy any. Sorry, my camera quit on me, but um, this process uh, usually takes about a few hours to do. So I will get back to you guys as soon as it's done. 
but you should be seeing a screen like this at this point. It says uh, prepare to copy files, copy files, and after successful copy. Under each one, under prepare copy files, you see prepared Macintosh HD, erased one terabyte Macintosh HD, prepared one terabyte Macintosh HD, preserved spotlight state on one terabyte Macintosh HD. All right, under copy files, it should be copying all your files that you had on the internal drive, which is now the external, onto the install drive, which is the brand new drive. It should look exactly the same as it was. Uh, nothing should be different except for you should now have just more space. Under after successful copy, you should say it should say uh, make one terabyte Macintosh HD bootable. Update pre pending on or pre binding, sorry, on one terabyte Macintosh HD, and then restore spotlight state on one terabyte Macintosh hard drive. So once all that is finished, I'll get back to you guys and. Here we have the elapsed time, so I'll tell you how long mine took. It's going to be a little over 230 gigs, so it's going to take me a while. But anyway, uh, I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Thanks. Okay, so we're back, and it took 3 hours, 7 minutes, and 22 seconds. So, yeah, you might want to give yourself about that much time if you got about 220, 230 gigs to copy over. But that's it. Uh, it should boot up now, and we'll give it a shot see what happens. We can close out a super duper. Turn it off. And then try and turn it on. And it should load up without a hitch with the new hard drive. Okay, so the, for the first, sorry, I messed it up, but for the first boot up, you want to hold the option down again and and let it go to the screen where you can select the either drive uh, to load up. It should load up just fine. And then we should be able to take the hard drive out of the USB and then you'll have an extra hard drive if you want to reformat it or do whatever with um, your old hard drive can now be an external hard drive if you choose to use it that way but anyway I'll uh, let this load up so it will take a while for it to load all the way up correctly read everything but it should be the exact same as your other drive just with more space so let's see get info and there we go that is now your internal hard drive so that's it and now I think we can actually let's see hold on let's go to the finder go to your now external hard drive and eject Macintosh hard drive. So there we go. And it should now work completely fine, free from your other hard drive. So I know it was a long process, but if that's what you want to do is to replace your hard drive, that's all the steps you need to take. Um, if you like my video, if you thought it was informational and you found it useful, um, like my commentary, like my videos or whatever, um, please don't rate, forget to comment and rate, subscribe. Subscribe button's up here and uh, share with your friends on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Thanks guys, I appreciate it.